Welcome to the Gigaspaces Zap 8 Document API screencast. What I'd like to do is show you um, some of the basic features of our new Schemaless API. Uh, first, here's the configuration for the Schemaless API. We have up here the standard spring configuration. We have the standard open spaces uh, XSDs here. Um, we have defined one extra thing here inside the space. We have the spaces normal declaration. Everything is normal. But here we actually say, here's a type. We actually embed some metadata. For example, what uh, you know, what's node to use is the ID. We define a basic index, which is used for exact equivalence. We define an extended index, which is used for um, comparisons uh, greater than or less than. So we can do lexical uh, scans and things like that. And here, everything else is normal. All that we've changed is the space type here. Um, the next thing we want to do then is look at the actual class that we that we drive things with. We're auto wiring the space here. We have a method here that actually cleans the space before every run, just to make sure everything's you know set up uh, cleanly. Um, here, our first test is to write a single player, Carmelo Anthony. Um, you can see that we're using a Fluent API. We define a document properties, which is basically a map, and we set properties as we go down. Um, here we have a set property where we're setting the value of teams to be a list of uh, special teams. Um, once we're done with this, we can actually create a space document with the type here and the properties that we've specified. Then all we do is write that into the space. Everything is normal at this point. A space document is a normal space type. You don't have to do anything special for it outside of setting the type here. Now, well, our test here actually asserts that the read works, which means what we're doing is we're looking to make sure that um, we get a, a set of results back with uh, from players whose first names are Carmelo Anthony, uh, or Carmelo rather. The way that we do that is with a standard read here. Um, what this does is it actually takes a, a set of values, um, then populates a template document um, right here, and then just returns a read. Um, nothing really special. We can operate with any space document as if it were a normal, um, a normal space object. This actually is just a test of the same method, so uh, we don't need to worry about that too much. It was written before the other method was, so that's why it exists here. Um, one thing we'd like to do is show how to query the object. Obviously, up here we're showing how to query by example, where we're saying uh, of any set of, of the entire set of documents, return us one that uh, has a first name of Carmelo. Um, however, we can also use a SQL-like uh, query syntax, which is actually very powerful. Um, what we do is we first write a data set in, which is composed of three players, uh, Amari Stoudemire, Carmelo Anthony, and John Starks, who was not a current player. Um, then we build a SQL query. We tell it we want it to get the player types, and this syntax means return us every player who has a, cur a, a current team. Um, the syntax right here means to look to the collection and apply and look for this field in every object in this collection. Um, then we tell it, you know, of course, to set the parameters to true because we want to use, you know, type safe uh, queries no matter what language we're using. Then we return the set of results. Now, since Amari Stoudemire and Carmelo Anthony, Carmelo Anthony are, in fact, current players, it should return a set of two and not three, because one of the players is not. Now, what we, one of the advantages of a schemaless API is that we can modify data in, the, in, you know, in our data model. We don't have to create new data items to uh, add to our data model. So here, what we're doing is we're writing John Starks back into the, uh, back into the space. Um, then we pull it out of the space with a take, which is a destructive read. We make sure that we have the player, we should, because we just wrote him up here. We're making sure here that there's no such comments property. Um, then, you know, we make sure that we don't have the document in the space anymore. We're just making sure that our destructive read worked and we actually have, a, you know, no comments uh, stored for that player. Then we, you know, create a list of comments and add it. We just set it in there. We write it back out. Here, we're reading it right back in. We're actually here making sure that we have one comment. Um, so what we have here in this method is an example of pulling an object from the space, a document from the space, um, 
adding a field to it and writing it back in, and then we're showing that, that field is actually present. Now, it's not fair to do all this without actually showing you the system running, so let's go ahead and run it. And here, we're actually loading up all the, all the configuration stuff. Uh, the reason you have all these is because I have a lot of VPN uh, information here and uh, connect to a lot of different networks because I'm retarded that way. And you can see here we've passed every test and everything was very quick. You actually didn't get a chance to see it running because the system actually runs very quickly. I hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, thank you very much.